All right, guys, so we just got back to the room from hanging out by the pool all afternoon and enjoying the sail away. It was a great afternoon. Um, thoroughly impressed with the ship and the crew so far. Now, when I got back to my room, there were some treats in the room and a handwritten letter from Margaritaville. Like, look at this. We got chocolate-covered strawberries, some sort of either a cookie or a macaroon, and some champagne, and of course, a handwritten letter, which is so sweet. Life is better on a cruise. It sure is. So thank you, Margaritaville, for sending me some treats to my room. I really do appreciate that. But now we are probably gonna get changed and ready for the night and then see what we get into. There's quite a bit happening tonight around the ship. There is bingo, there's the casino, there's a dueling piano bar. There is a couple shows, there's dinner. So there is definitely a lot to do tonight. So I'm looking forward to see what we stumble upon. All right, guys, we are changed and ready for the night. Now we are gonna go walk around the ship a bit, check out the shops, cause there's 10% off Margaritaville gear which I definitely want some if there's some good stuff there. So 10% off is nice. But then after we go spend some money and look around, it is time for dinner, which I'm super excited to see how dinner is tonight. I am getting hungry. That's a good thing. So fingers crossed we got a good dinner, but let's go explore a bit. <laughs> Margaritaville Crocs. How much are they? $70. Ooh, but 10% off, $7 off. Oh, Christmas I ornaments, 50% off. But how much is that? <gasps> Wait, it's only $6? Is it 50% off $6? Or is $6 the 50% off? That I do not know. But that's a good deal. Okay, they have much better merch on the Paradise than they did on the Islander. Maybe because it was the inaugural sailing on the Islander, they didn't have everything in stock yet. But they have such, they have so much cool stuff here. I wanted just like a basic Margaritaville SC t-shirt. They have so many cool ones. All right, so we just went to the gift shop. I got, got, and bought way too many things. I'll probably do a haul later, maybe. Um, but they did. One weird thing was they overcharged me, which I didn't realize, but my wonderful, amazing best friend realized that I really got overcharged. She was like, oh, that doesn't make sense. And I'm like, oh, it's only a couple dollars off. Like, thinking, because there was a 10% discount going on right now. So I was like, oh, like, I guess, yeah, it's not as much off as I thought. But the total I was charged was more than all of my items added up to <laughs> somehow. So I don't know how that happened, but she said she made a note and said I'd get a credit on it. So we'll see if tomorrow at the end of the cruise if um, it's fixed. But I did get some cool stuff, which I'm excited about. And now we are waiting in line for dinner. It's a really long line because it opens, dinner opens up in 10 minutes. So we are all ready to go. All right, we've been seated. It was kind of crazy coming in here, but I think that's because there's some performing arts group on board with us, so their party of like 50 people was also getting set at the same time. Everyone else was trying to come in for dinner, but we got a table and we just got our menus. Let's take a look. What are your thoughts on dinner so far? I think dinner so far has been fantastic. I I know we've heard like a lot of bad things about the food on this ship specifically, but I have been nothing short of impressed. I think that the buffet was like pretty decent food and a lot of great options. And I think the same about the dining room. I think they had plentiful options and so far everything that we've had has tasted fantastic to me. I've been satisfied. What would you rate it out of 10, dinner? So far? I would say probably like a nine. nine oh. Out of ten. I know. That I know. A, wow. Okay, but yes, I agree on all the food. It's been really good so far, especially for cruise food. I can't complain, really. And yeah, I would rate it probably a solid 
8.75 out of 10. I thought it was really good. Okay, so I got the sugar-free option for dessert, but he didn't know what it was. So it's a complete surprise to me <laughs> what it might be. I have no idea what will show up on this table. So I guess we'll see together. Okay, I think the sugar-free dessert is gonna be some sort of berry compote tart situation. <laughs> What is it going to be? Okay, now I feel like a copier. <laughs> Those are the exact words I was going to use. Berry compote situation. <laughs> Not whatever, you said tart? Yeah. I wasn't going to say tart. I think it's going to be like berries in like a bowl of some sugar-free gelatin situation. Berries and cream. I'm going to tell that. But yeah, that's exactly the words I was going to use. Oh. Just kidding. It's not mine. But. It's going to be a berry something. There's a spoon. Oh. Hint. That is, oh. A primary hint. A spoon. I got the key lime pie. There's like a key lime pie sponge cake, which I love key lime pie. If I see key lime pie, I'm getting it. But Jen recommended the brownie. She said it's the best thing she's probably ever eaten. So I had to get the brownie because they didn't have the brownie on the Islander. Which is, it's interesting, I'm seeing a lot of differences between the Islander and this ship. And I feel like this ship has a lot of things that I feel like should have been on the Islander as it was their newest ship, but it wasn't. But I'm happy to see that they got a lot of cool stuff on this ship as well. Wait. He said this is Cherry's Jubilee, uh -huh. and he recommended to try it. Oh, that's not the sugar-free? This is the sugar-free. Oh, so it's... I don't know what this is. It might be some sort of cheesecake, potentially. It looks like a cheesecake. Huh. I'm intrigued. Cherry's Jubilee, and here it is. Tastes like cheesecake. There we go, sugar-free. I wonder what's in there, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best sugar-free dessert I've had on any cruise ever. I'm a frequent sugar-freer, and like, it's a 10 out of 10. There we go, you heard it here. Margaritaville at sea has amazing desserts. We're here in the Stars on the Water Theater on board the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. Because we have the faster to the chill package, we do get VIP seating in the theater. So we just have reserved seats, which is nice. They're closer. We are literally the first, we're in the first row, which is cool. And yeah, it's an interesting setup for the theater. There's like a typical theater surround, but on the floor, there's just like regular seats. I don't know, it's different, but it's cool. I am excited to see what the show is about. It's called Radio Margaritaville Live at Sea. I think there's something to do with a DJ and music, and they're probably just going to sing some popular songs is what I'm going to guess. So I think it'll be good, but I'm excited to check it out. Three! Two, one, going Oh my God, we just got done with the show for tonight. It was amazing. I had the best time. It was so engaging and just so fun. Wow. Props to Margaritaville. They are just winning across the board today. They are doing it right. I truly don't know how people have such negative opinions and reviews about this ship. I'm having a blast, but that show really put me on cloud nine. Phenomenal show. Good job, Margaritaville. All right, but now we are headed to the casino to hopefully win some big bucks. I could really use a, d a jackpot right now. I really could. A jackpot would be really nice. What did you think of the show? 10 out of 10. So good. Would recommend. Yeah. We are trying to get a parrot peep from the claw machine. I love a good claw machine. Let's see if we could do this. It's $1.50 each play. I'm scared. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, that's off. Okay, we got this. <laughs> oh. This thing is rigged. I'm gonna try again, but I don't know if I wanna try that same one because I know it's rigged. I'll do one more on that one and then I'll try one more and then that's it. Give it one more try, but I think this thing is rigged. I think this one is the best. The belly up is the, here, this is it. Come on. Oh. See, that's how they get you because I want to go again. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's rigged. It, it loosens. And now he's right side up. That's how they get you. That was fun though. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> All right, that is a wrap. Margaritaville at Sea Paradise, day one. Overall, I had a great day. I don't understand all the hate. I don't understand why this is the worst rated cruise ship in the world. I had a phenomenal day. Well, we went to the casino. Uh, I did pretty well. I tried to be good and cashed out. There's still one more night, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm currently up, which is nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the night. But if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be in Freeport, Bahamas. We're going to Grand Lucayan Resort. We're doing a day pass there, which I'm super excited about. I've never been, but the pictures look really cool, so I'm excited to check that out. So be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video, and I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.